Hi, I'm Rebecca Brightly, and today you're learning some solo dance choreography called the Wiggles Routine. First I'm going to demo it, and then I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. So the song that we're using is called Wallingford Wiggles. It's by, it's by Glenn Kreitzer and his syncopators, and they are a, a local Seattle band. I highly recommend buying the entire, entire album it's on. It's called Harlem Mad, and you can get that on Glenn's website, syncopators.net. Check the description for a direct link. So Wallingford Wiggles is a really slow song, you probably noticed, and that's good because it means you have more time to think about what's coming next, but it's also really hard because it means you need to have a lot more body control. You're going to find yourself wanting to rush it, and my advice is to really milk every movement. Don't worry if you forget things, you can always go back and try it again, but milk every movement, and don't get ahead of yourself thinking it's too easy. Okay, so first things first, you got to make sure you know all of the moves that we're using in the routine. I taught them all over the past six weeks, and I've magically provided links here so you can go back and review any of them that you're unfamiliar with. So now that you're familiar with all the moves that we're going to be doing, you really need to focus on two things when learning to do new choreography. And the first one is memory. What comes next? Uh, down in the description below, I've made a written note of all the order of all the steps that we're doing. Uh, and the second key thing you really need to work on is transitions. So those points between the movements where you're like, Ugh, I remember what to do next, but I don't know how to get there. That's what I'm going to focus on teaching you right now. So in the very first phrase, a phrase being four counts of eight, you do shorty George forward, apple jacks back, shorty George forward, apple jacks back. The transition between the two is essentially identical. You do eight and one, two, three, four, five, six. On seven, you prepare to do another either cake ball change or sweet ball change. And if you're wondering what that move is, please just go check out the Shorty George and Apple Jacks videos and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at that from behind. So say we start with the uh, Shorty George, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, I'm on my left, I'm preparing to do this for the apple jacks. Prepare on seven, that's what you need to do. So the next transition at the top of the next phrase is apple jacks to boogie drops to the left. From the back, eight, oh, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bouncy, bouncy drop, a bouncy, bouncy drop. So basically what I did is I just kept moving my feet. Eight, bouncy, bouncy drop, a bouncy, bouncy drop. Okay, the next one's a little more challenging. It's going to require a little bit more strength and quickness of movement. We're doing boogie drops to Suzy Q. So check this out first. I'll do it slow. I go to the left. Three, five, six, seven. Now see, I'm here in a lunge on my right foot. What I need to do is press back up and kick on eight. So if I do five, six, seven, kick on eight. Five, six, seven, kick. Suzy Q, Suzy Q. Five, six, seven, and then a kick with the left. So that's the next transition. We're doing Suzy Q right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick on left on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you'll notice my Suzy Qs aren't going anywhere. That's fine. If I go anywhere, I go out of the frame. You can move yours to the right and left if you like, but we chose to kind of do our Suzy Qs in place so that we didn't go off the screen. 
So, after we do our Suzy Q's to the right, we need to do a lock turn. And this one, uh, we changed up just a little bit to kind of milk the music a little more, but I'll show you what it is. So we're doing Suzy Q to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shift weight on eight, so now I'm on my left foot, eight. And then I do kick, kick, rock, step, lock, turn, seven, eight. Here it is again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, kick, rock, step, five, six, seven, eight. Counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the music does a little roop there, so you might want to flourish with your hands. Next is a new move. Oh my god, I'm throwing this out of nowhere. But it's using all these concepts you've already been learning over the past six weeks. So you'll be able to throw it in no problem. The, uh, essentially, the movement we're going to be doing is standing on the ball of our foot, pivoting the leg back and forth with the knee bend. So this is different from something you might have seen that looks like this. I'm just rotating my leg in and out because that's a lot easier. So I'm trying not to get my whole body with it. I'm actually mostly rotating at the hip. So together, after the lock turn, that looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so I'm prepping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing on the left. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. The very next transition we're going to do is take this movement into swivels, and we're going to go forward eight counts of swivels. Very next thing. So the transition from the new the new move to the swivels looks like this. I already did this on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The music is so slow that I really want you to get this right. You step onto the right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Prepare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm really preparing on that left leg so that I can actually press off and do swivels. So this leg is straight, and then I relax it and do one on my right for my swivels. And last but not least, after we do swivels forward, we're going to come back. And this is real easy. So we're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At this point, I might have been bringing my hands up like this, five, six, seven, eight. I scoot back, put my hands on my hips, and then bounce a little, seven, eight. So the counts for that, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> that was wonderful. So now what? Practice, practice, practice. Do lots of practice, because then you'll be really, really good at dancing, which is what you want, and that's why you're watching these videos. Uh, yeah, so if you like this video, you want me to keep making Lindy Hop videos, please do me a big favor. Uh, first, press like, or click on the thumbs up button underneath the video. And then, step two is share it with your friends. Uh, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+, share it on Facebook, uh, and spread the love, and then I'll know that you love me, and I will keep making awesome videos for you. All right. Oh, yeah, and never forget, visit my website, RebeccaBrightly.com. It's a dance blog, and I have lots of good stuff there, plenty of blog articles, and uh, not so many pictures of my cat. I could really use more pictures of my cat. I've been thinking about that lately. Ciao!